State of emergency still in effect in Mount Vernon after its fleet of police, fire, and public works vehicles was put out of service due to thousands of dollars in unpaid bills. So tonight we're hearing from the city's controller who the mayor says is to blame for the crisis. Richard Giacovas has her side of the story. The streets of Mount Vernon appear to be cleaned up, but the drama is still unfolding. It is a crisis. It is a crisis. We've been operating in crisis mode in Mount Vernon probably for the past decade. Nearly a week into a state of emergency over public safety, Mayor Sean Patterson Howard still says nearly half a million dollars in maintenance bills haven't been paid thanks to the city comptroller. She has not been transparent. She has been more of an obstacle than even a partner at all. Neighboring cities, including New York, sent in DPW trucks this week to help clean up the garbage, but a number of Mount Vernon's public work vehicles are still out of service, including police cars and a fire truck. Our cameras were allowed into the Department of Finance on Wednesday as we attempted to reach Comptroller Deborah Reynolds inside her office. We're looking for the Comptroller. After we were told she wasn't in, a few moments later they told us she came back and was ready to talk for the first time. One day of the year, she, she plays a hoax on Mount Vernon and blames the controller. That's ridiculous. She needs to do her job and grow up. Reynolds says it's the mayor who's in charge of paying bills, the same defense she gave during former Mayor Richard Thomas's administration. But when pressed on if she had any fault in this state of emergency, she says none of this falls on her. She handles the fire, DPW, and police. So if she has a problem with her apparatus or her DPW trucks, this is the first I'm hearing of it. The mayor says the garbage will be picked up, at least for now, and as long as they have enough trucks like these for the number of routes they have to make. As for that yard waste, well, that's suspended at least through the end of the month, and the state of emergency stays in place. It's up to the mayor to decide when she wants to lift that, depending on who pays the bills. For now, it's anyone's guess. We're in the city of Mount Vernon, Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.